Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today we're doing a video on a really popular urban tree species and rightfully so. This is our bald cypress or Taxodium disticum. So this is a really cool tree species we find here in the southeast. It is a native tree species. Um, typically you'll find these in natural areas out in swamps or wetlands. Uh, they are extremely well adapted to flooding and standing water, which is not a characteristic that a lot of trees have. So this is really important, uh, a really tough, beautiful tree, and we've actually got two of them here. And so let's, let's look at the characteristics a little bit here. So let's take a closer look here at the needles. Uh, now it is a conifer, meaning it has needles and not broad leaves, uh, but it's deciduous, which is really cool. That's not a common thing. You know, most conifers that we find are evergreens, like our pine trees. Uh, but these actually will lose their needles every year in the fall. They turn a beautiful, almost rust-colored red, and then drop their needles and grow new ones next year. So they're kind of a, a funky overlap between the two groups. It's not super common, but another tree that tends to do that as well are larches. Uh, they also drop their needles in the fall. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at the bark. Also very distinctive. Uh, it can have this really beautiful reddish tint to it. Um, kind of flaky. Uh, it really can vary a, a good bit by species, uh, but definitely has a lot of beautiful character. Uh, and we can see here, there are actually some really well done pruning cuts at some point a while ago. These are all fully healed over. These look great. It's always a fun little forensics test to see if you can spot where all of the pruning cuts were made on a tree. Uh, and you can see them pretty well here. But very beautiful bark, really nice sort of reddish color. And one of the really cool things about bald cypress are cypress knees. So it's a common term used for the roots that actually stick up out of the ground. Uh, now they tend to do this in very wet areas. So it's thought that it's more of a stabilization technique. Uh, really kind of keeps the tree upright in these very wet soils. Uh, it's pretty easy for a tree to topple over when the soil is completely saturated. So they need some a little bit of help to keep themselves upright. And so these cypress knees are actually a really great way of doing that. So I think there's a couple others over here. We'll go take a look. These are pretty small. You know, typically in urban areas, they get mowed over pretty frequently so they don't get very big but out in natural areas they can be five ten feet tall pretty big now I do want to mention that these trees aren't limited to flooded environments you know we, we're in a park here doesn't flood here very frequently um, so they actually do very well in a wide range of conditions um, they're pretty tolerant to urban conditions some heat a little bit of drought um, but again they can also tolerate that flooding so they're they're almost a, a jack of all trades they can do some things really well and they can do a lot of other things pretty well also um, so just a really cool native tree species that we're seeing used more and more uh, which is great because it is also a large tree you can see these are pretty good sized trees those are probably almost 50 feet tall so they can provide a lot of great shade for us as well. So really fantastic native tree species that's being used more and more in urban areas. And we're happy about it. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.